Hi, this is Lina. I'm quickly going to show you how to do a profile transfer um, from Hitsner to Hitsner. Um, this is the perfect situation for us because we don't have to um, move all the email addresses um, as well. And uh, it's just basically we're shifting from one um, user account on Hitsner to our user account. And this is absolutely the best situation. Um, you can just think if we have a big site or a big company and they're like 18 or 19 email addresses and now we have to reset up and email and arrange to all those people how to do a new setup on Outlook or um, elsewhere and it can be a real headache. So what we're going to do is uh, head over on this website to get some who is information and um, I'm using um, this add-on and I'll just go to page info I'll tell you more about it now and I see it's uh, the DNA server is um, NS1 I'm using open SEO stats it's a, a Chrome add-on and I'm familiar with Hitzner so I know that uh, this server is uh, belonging to, to Hitsnet. But you can double check if you want. I usually check out where the current hosts are before we move it. And uh, just to see what we can expect. So I'll just type in who is, you can type almost anything here, just to paste the server name. And here you can see it's all related to Hitsnet. Okay, so we head back over to console age at Hitsner and we click on new order. And then we head over to web hosting, click basic and go next. So we're not choosing domain names because uh, it excludes hosting, but if you click on web hosting and basic, it will include a domain and we want to transfer this domain to us. Click next and we click on transfer an existing domain. It used to work differently, but now it's much easier. Add a domain and click next. Okay, so we have special options here and uh, make sure you, you select the first uh, radio button. I want a domain name the web content, mailboxes and databases. Okay, so um, if um, um, mailboxes is a transfer to us, we don't have to do any reset up. So this is truly the easiest way to, to transfer um, a website, which is again basic and we uh, choose the South African shared hosting and it will just give you an invoice and your billing details and uh, uh, accept terms and conditions so i'll click next and here we have um, ownership type we use private ownership or company ownership and we have owner details and also admin details as you can see at the bottom um, so we want to fill out both of them and uh, the owner details is basically the client's information and then admin details will be our own information. I'll just fill those out and um, tick please make me the um, administrative uh, contact for this domain. Okay, and uh, this will just say it will take about a uh, few um, a few hours to propagate and ten days. Otherwise, it's going to be declined. So the hosting company you're hosting at at the moment uh, needs to be um, um, notified that we want to cancel or transfer those domain. And that can only that permission can only be given by the client. Okay, so um, let's go ahead, click on dashboard, 
and uh, log out and then we'll wait for notification okay so we head over to our email to wait for notification and um, a few hours has already passed and as you can see this came right through uh, transfer request um, and um, next steps yada 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 you can go through those and then once the transfer um, is approved so if the other uh, hosting company says yay okay and then it will tell us that the domain has been released to us and then you can go over to Hitner and um, check it out and um, let's look Vasa and uh, here you have it and the website is um, is still up let's just make sure okay we've already replaced the um, website with a new WordPress install um, but um, everything is um, working fine 